Now recently I watched a YouTube video of Pete Cowan giving Rory McIlroy a lesson. Now I watched this and I've taken some huge points away from my own golf swing. All about the posture, and these are things that just are so simple but we never think of. And then how we move in the backswing and the downswing. These things that I've taken make a huge difference to distance, direction, and overall scoring on the course. To celebrate 300,000 subscribers, I'm giving you a chance to win an Odyssey AI putter. The exact one that John Ram uses. Stay tuned to find out exactly how you can win it. First thing is setup. Now, I see a lot of golfers sort of just place this to the side because anytime we stand to the golf ball, right, we stand to how we feel comfy. And this is what the first point that I took away from it. I was standing to the golf ball and I didn't believe it. I was like, with driver, really wide, sticking my bum out because I thought that was powerful. So I needed this reset and you can do this with any club, but I actually strongly encourage you to have a look at how you do this with driver. So grab your driver, place it just below your belt buckle and put your thumbs on your hip bone. And this is what you were saying, right? Thumbs on your hip bone. And I think this is a genius way to feel athletic over the golf ball. Now this is the key point here, all about the first thing he was saying. We want to feel now, we bow over and we feel where this club is sat. We sort of narrow this gap and it should feel like we're sort of pincering the golf club between the top of our thigh and the bottom here, sort of underneath our belt buckle. We should really feel our hip flexor, the top of our thigh, squeezing that golf club in. This. Now I feel really athletic there, what, what I found when I first did this is I felt like I was really upright, but this is really essential. Having good setup is the DNA of your golf swing. So first thing, just retake yourself. Thumbs on your hip bone, club in front, and just squeeze the gap, dead easy. Now, when I was watching this video, I could see Pete Cowan, have a look at the screen here, doing all these movements to Rory, explaining this spiral movement. Now. I've seen lots of these things, and I've been teaching this for a while now, of what Pete Cowan says about the best way to turn in the entire swing. I think it's absolutely genius. Now, if you think about it, we want to send our weight and our pressure from the first floor, let's say that's where our feet are, to the second floor up here. Now, the quickest way to do that is sort of go straight vertical, but that is not going to work in the golf swing. We can't swing the club like this. So the second fastest way, he was saying, is to feel as though you spiral that up. Now, I put this out here before on my Instagram, never on YouTube, about this spiral movement. And people go, Alex, it's complicated, but not this way. So think about this logically and really hone in on this. If I said to you, in the backswing, we want to send our pressure from our left foot to our right shin. From our left shin, to our right knee, our left knee to our right thigh, our left thigh to our right hip, our left hip to our right rib cage, our left rib cage to our right shoulder, and that would be the process of us spiraling up in the golf swing. Now, anytime I get somebody to do that, I would say, get the club across your chest. Just work to those parameters. Don't overthink it. So I imagine, right? I'm sort of taking that, I'm coiling up, I'm coiling up in this motion. Now watch me. And this is what I could see him showing to Rory about, okay, this is how you spiral up in the golf swing. Now the first time I did this in my swing, I felt a lot more vertical with these shoulders, not flat. And that's really, really important. So the second lesson I want you to take away from this is spiral up. So how I did this and how, what I'd recommend for your golf swing is do 10 to 15 reps of the club across your chest, then a few practice swings. When you start to feel comfortable, hit one away like I am about to now. Just working on those ideas of taking the pressure and spiraling, not turning. Just think of those pressure points. You're not gonna get it right straight away, but that is key. Now the next bit, the final part of this lesson, the downswing, I swear by this, absolutely swear by this. Okay, have a look at this. So to be in with a chance of winning my 300,000 subscriber giveaway, an Odyssey AI putter, it's so easy. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, comment down below 
putter, please. And for extra entries, five in fact, share this on any form of social media. Now watch out for any scammers. All the information when the closing dates this giveaway is down below in the description. I will never contact you and ask for any card details. Good luck to everybody. This is a cracker of a putter. The downswing move. Now I said this was genius and I love this idea. So we've already spoken about the pressure points, right? From this area to here and so forth, just spiraling up in this direction. Essentially, you've got to think of the downswing in the complete opposite sequence. So if you first move the pressure from our left foot to our right shin down here in the backswing, well, that's the first thing that goes back to where it started, okay? So think about it logically. You spiraled up that way, now we spiral back down this way. That way we're sort of putting pressure in the ground and out the ground. So logically, think about the golf swing, the back swing, and the downswing as a mirror image of each other. So really, I'm gonna break this down for you, and this is what I would say to all my students as well. Feel what we said, spiral up, do the opposite on the way down, okay? All you're working to is those spirals that were in that direction, they work the opposite to start the downswing. Now, that's all well and good, thinking about those changes of pressure and this action, but how can you get it in your swing? Now, I've actually got a golf ball in my hand here, but you don't actually have to throw anything. But what I would say is to my students is, we spiral up, and I want you to feel that you're gonna throw that ball as hard as you can right between your feet. Now, when I'm doing that, if I just did it with my arm, I couldn't put as much force in as possible. But if I spiral and work this way, I really start to understand the sequence. So think about this, backswing, downswing, mirror image, and it all comes from a great starting position. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel here for free, simple golf tips five times a week.